Oh, hello, friends. Just like Joe Rogan today. All right, what's going on, guys? I know I hadn't uploaded in a in a little minute. Um, what did I come back here for? Came back here for something. Oh, had to get my little stand. So we are in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're delivering some stone. Um, today's Monday. This load's due for Tuesday. Um, I like being able to get to a load and drop it off in the same day. Well, at least park up. Normally leaving out on Monday, it kind of sets you back. You'll run out of time most of the time. But I think my fleet managers pretty much got me down a little bit. Uh, some days I leave out on Sunday. Some days I leave out on Monday. And uh, today was a like a 250 mile run from, um, where, where did I pick this load up at? Somewhere outside of Atlanta. And I drove it over here to Charlotte. So it was like four hour drive. Um, so now I'm about to untarp it. They really didn't need to be tarped because of weather wise, but because you'll see the rocks whenever I, uh, whenever I record them. say main reason I don't record that much recently it's because it's been hot and it's uh it's a lot of work getting the different angles and all that good stuff <clears throat> but this is what I got some stone all kinds of different stone pretty cool First time I got this. And all the different kinds. And that's where I'm at here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all these straps tonight. So see, this being my first time, I'm pretty sure I, I've secured it right. I put two straps over each. Um, I was gonna put one. This is only a 20,000 pound load. So I'm pretty sure I'm over secured, but since every time it's my first load of something, I'll over secure it. And then next time, if I see people doing it a different way, I may do it that way or something like that. But uh, yeah, go ahead and get this on strength. We're gonna eat something. <laughs> So if you can't tell, I have a specific way that I like to secure and unsecure. And uh, it's just a way to make sure that you don't forget anything. And if you're new to TMC or if you're still, if you're watching this video, determining, trying to determine whether you want to go or not. Um, yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's really not that bad. You'll, you'll develop your own um, way of doing things. And for those of you that are thinking about flatbed, it really ain't that bad. I mean, for real. A little, little tarp here, a little strap there. It really ain't that bad. But right now, I'm about to cook me something to eat. I'm about to try something that I actually, this is my first time trying this. I got some burgers that I'm about to cook. Stay tuned.
Eh, didn't get it hot enough yet. But there you go. Got our burger down. I'm gonna go ahead and cook all four of them so I can just have them ready to go. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna flip this one, put some cheese. I had to go to the store and get like some cheese. I'm just cut up this and put it on. Um, and yeah, we're getting a good sizzle. I don't know how long these, one of these canisters last, but um, I got it on like medium heat and it's doing pretty good. Nice good flame going. I probably won't be cooking that much, but when I do, you know, oh yeah. So I am, it is Thursday. We are doing a trailer swap. I am in Bennettsville, South Carolina, I think. Wherever, I'm in some part of South Carolina, but I'm doing a trailer swap. Last time I was at this place, um, I spent like 10 hours here trying to get loaded. And uh, luckily I'm doing a trailer swap today. So the first time ever I've actually got dunnage on the trailer that I'm swapping. So all I gotta do is swap like a few pieces of my dunnage over. We need to normalize leaving dunnage on the trailers because I hate swapping dunnage. But anyway, um, it shouldn't take me no more than about 30, 40 minutes if that. All right, all right. So, what time is it? It's 7.33. My clock won't restart until 
10 o'clock, about 10, 15. Because I got here at midnight. I wanted to make sure I got here last night so I didn't have to start my car. I don't know, it, could, it probably messed me up a little bit. I don't know. Either way, I think if I would have stopped and still had to drive, then that guy would have been in front of me. So I'm kind of happy I did go ahead and park up last night. Because either way, I creeped on around. Uh, I had to, where I parked was not where I was gonna get unloaded. So I had to creep around, maybe like less than half a mile. It wasn't that long. It's probably like less than a quarter of a mile. What is that? One fourth of a mile? I don't know, I don't know math. Anyway, um, I'm getting unloaded right now. Um, actually, it won't really matter. I go ahead and put in my empty, but I gotta wait until 10, 15 anyway, so I got, I got about three hours to wait. So I'm gonna just pull across the street and uh, get my final load, well, my load for Monday. Um, I sneaked in an extra load this week, so I got six loads this week. So my check will be pretty nice next week. Um, some new updates coming. I don't know if I'll announce it in this video, but um, some changes probably coming, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, I'm gonna finish getting unloaded and then wait and see what I get to go home. All right, guys, so it's the end of the week. Uh, as you see there, the week went pretty good. Um, I got in six loads this week. Um, I think I may have grossed like 1700, um, like gross. I did like 4,900 to the truck. Um, and I'm at what? 30, 31%. So, um, I kind of wanted to do this little ending part because I wanted to, you know, inform you guys on, you know, what's going on and what might be going on. But I actually might be leaving TMC. I don't know 100% yet, but um, as I mentioned on this channel before, my goal is to be a lease purchase owner operator deal. Uh, even you know, even with the economy the way it is, blah blah blah. I've heard it from everyone, but that like that doesn't stop me from wanting to want that to be my goal. Uh, because I run into a lot of lease guys and owner operators ones that are still making payments and ones that have paid their truck off and it's theirs. And I hear it from the same person each, I hear it from everybody that, uh, every single time I ask them, how's it going out here with the market, the way it is, the fuel prices and all that. And I ran into a guy named Ira today. He works for CRST. He's a lease guy there, lease purchase there with CRST. Um, and he did say that he would probably wait before he came out just because of how the market is right now. He's been the only one that really has tell me that. So I do take that in um, because he said that when he first started with CRST in their lease program, he was making like three, four grand a week. And now it's kind of dwindled down a little bit to about 2000, um, 2,500. So almost what a company driver would make almost uh, still a little bit more though. Um, my whole thing is that I want the freedom to be able to choose my own loads and kind of choose how I run. And, um, there's a company that I'm actually looking at that offers that. Um, then there's another company that's been trying to recruit me to come over there too, but I don't think I want to drive for cents per mile as a company driver. Um, I just feel like percentage is a little bit better. Um, I don't know, so unless you're making like 80 cents per mile, then I really don't think it's worth driving. That, that's just me. That's just me. But um, so I don't I don't know exactly what I'm going to do right now. Um, Haven't made any final decisions yet. It's still up in the air. So we'll, we'll see as the um, as the. Whatever decision I make, I want to make that decision. I actually informed my fleet managers today about my plans and kind of what I want to do. Um, she already knows that I want to do, you know, I want my own truck and everything, but I kind of made it pretty clear today that that's what I want to do. So um, I don't know if TMC is going to try to fight to keep me or not. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty good um, driver for him right now. But the thing is, I just want my own. I, I don't really want to be told what to do. I want to pick my own loads and I want to run how I want to run. And that's 
pretty much what I'm looking at at this point. Um, so anyway, that's the end of this week. Um, if you guys watched all the way to the end here, uh, be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, the channel's growing pretty slowly, but fast and slow at the same time. It's way faster growth than I thought it would be. Um, and uh, I run it. Oh, yeah. And the guy Ira who I ran into today said he actually saw me from YouTube. I actually stopped to talk to him about his lease program, leasing at CRST, and he recognized me from YouTube like immediately. So uh, that's pretty cool to have people recognize you from from the videos. Uh, obviously, I mean, I'm not teaching anything. So, I mean, I, I doubt anybody's learning anything from me. But, you know, at least you see the videos. Be sure to share them. Be sure to subscribe. But um, anyway, that's the end of this week. Um, hopefully this video will be out no later than Saturday or whenever you're watching this. But, um, yeah. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.